watching Dreamate YouTube channel. On today's video, we'll be talking about session manager and also about why do we need session manager and how to access an EC2 machine using session manager. So more about session manager, I will be covering it in between this demonstration. So let's get started. This is my AWS dashboard where SSM EC2 is my machine name and you can see my inbound where 22 port is allowed and I will also show you the session manager is not able not yet been there for me to be able to connect to my machine so first I had to create a role and have a policy and I will just click on EC2 and I will create a policy for that where I have to have a JSON script so basically the first thing first is to copy paste the script and you will find the script right below the video description and then once I just paste that particular script and you will be able to see that there are multiple resources that has been allowed in this particular script I will be required this particular policy to work along with most of the services so you can see multiple resources where session manager has this complete lease read and write access so i will name it as ssm policy once the policy is created i have to create a role and this role should contain the policy so basically why we need session manager is that uh, having a session manager you don't have to manage the SSH key each time securely and uh, each time to transfer your SSH key for people who will be accessing it and you don't have to open multiple inbound ports to access your machine and you don't have to have a jump server in a you know public subnet that is known as the bastion host to access your private machine you can directly use session manager there uh, it will create a encrypted tunnel for you so that you can manage your instance where in a very secure way as well so the policy has been created and the role i will name it as ssm role and you can see in policies it contains ssm policy so now the role has been created successfully so what next let's go to ec2 dashboard and then i'll go to action security modify m role and i will select the role that i just created that is ssm role i will attach this iam role here to this machine and right now let's see the session manager manager has been enabled so we can see that the session manager has not yet been installed so for that let's take an ssh access I will open putty and I have to give the IP address, the public IP address and as well as the um, ppk file. I will browse the ppk file and for this machine it is testc2.ppk. I will open to that key, accept the security alert, I will log in as Ubuntu user. And even in session manager, you will be logging in as Ubuntu user or other user as well, but you have to create a password for that. So right now, I will be a root user and then it's a newly launched VM. I will update its packages. And now, to be at my best part, I will just snap, remove Amazon as an agent. I will be doing this manually if it's not there. So now I will create a directory using mkdr command slash tmp slash ssm. Once done, I will go there using cd command space slash tmp slash ssm. Here I have to use this particular link and the li link is given in the script itself so please do the wget command by the link that has been given to you and once the dpkg install amazon ssm agent so it has been installed successfully so let's enable that 
by the command system CTL enable Amazon SSM agent and let's restart it. System CTL restart Amazon SSM agent. Great. Now we have to just see the status just to be sure. System CTL status Amazon no, dot death. So the status says active and run it. Great. So does that mean yes, session manager has been enabled and I can directly connect to my machine. This time I don't have to give password, I please the IP address and if you don't have the public IP also it's fine when the session manager is enabled as told you before and I will log in as an Ubuntu user. So as you know I don't have a password yet. So let's create a password. I will go back. Clear. password for Ubuntu would be something very strong as you're not using key make sure you always give the best like good password and the length should be actually long and my password is 123123 123. so the system will be terminated soon after the video so yeah so this is about session manager thank you so much for watching Dramato I believe this video was helpful. If yes, please like this video as well as share and subscribe for more.